of the avenue of, of technology. Let us pray. Gracious God, as again we come with all the hearts and bow down here. We know that your word said that we trust in you, that you will take care of us. God is now spending some treatments. Bless the President of the United States, Lord, in this issue that he's going through. Bless his family. And if it be that we'll help him get well. Help us, Lord, not to have a cold hate in our heart against our premier leader. God is spending us and bless us to pray for him because he told us we ought to pray for our leaders. Now, Lord, we pray that you bless us in this day. Bless us to stay in your word. Hold your word before me and I and the people that you may do the work on their hearts. God is going to show us to keep and bless our families. To be in good health and sound mind, if it be thy will. Now, Lord, go with us on this preaching journey that we may illuminate men's hearts and mesmerize their eyes. Lord God, they may see your word and transform their lives into better lives to live for Christ. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. One to visit a book called Genesis. And that is tucked away in this book a story that is transformed. I want to make my point of interest at the 45th verse, chapter and first verse. It says, Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all of them that stood by him. And he cried, causing every man to go out from me. And there stood no man with him, while Joseph made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept aloud. And the Egyptian of the house of Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Do my father yet live? And his brothers could not answer him. For they were troubled at his presence. Amen. For a few minutes, and let us ponder in his word. I want to take this message of the Lord created a nation out of a troubled family. The Lord created, not made, just made, but created a nation out of a troubled family. And only God could do that. Amen. With a person in time. We understand the remarkable story of Joseph rising to the power of Egypt is not just a rag and to riches story. Fundamentally, the story is about how the Lord created a nation out of a troubled family. Listen, Joseph of family was plagued by jealousy, racial, evil, envy, Leah, and Leah envy, racial. Genesis 30 and 1. Leah's son inherited the pattern of jealousy. They ended Joseph so much that they sold him into slavery. Genesis 37 and 28. It may even be that Reuben abused Bidhag because of jealousy. 
the war in vain. Also, the family was separated. After Joseph was sold into slavery, Judah left the family, associated with a Canaanite woman, and married and and Canaanite woman, who these jealousies and division build a family, the family of God's eternal promise, was become more and more like pagan Canaanite community that was around them. But the Lord, the Lord God, did not let trouble of this family go out his good purpose. Oh no, he had promised to shake a great nation from this family. A nation that will separate, that will spread his blessings to the whole round world. Joseph's family was a lie. But the word but is in there. But God worked events. I say God worked events. That the family was reunited through a remarkable series of circumstances. Oh yes, God elevated Joseph. Pharaoh just didn't do it, but God did it. He ele elevated Joseph from the position of slavery to prison to administrator of Egypt. Pharaoh's right hand man, Joseph had become the be. God transformed the evil plan of Joseph's brother into something that was good. Yes, Joseph repeated that God would accomplish his good purpose through the evil action of his brother. A sister brother, a father to Pharaoh, a uh, theologian of us, Joseph was an advisor to Pharaoh as any good father is to his son. Joseph was in a Bible, I said, to Pharaoh, such as a father might be an advisor to his son. Joseph told, told his brothers that they must live in Egypt and bring a dirty the family. This was God's plan. Oh yeah, for he had told Abraham that his descendants would live in a foreign land. As an administrator of the Egyptian plan to survive. Yeah, the coming family and his remarkable story. Joseph could witness to these people about the power and the goodness of the living God. But God, good plan did not end there. God used the physical hardship of the famine to reunite Israel's family. When Joseph's brothers saw him, not only did they express sorrow for their former evil, actually, but they at them 
multitude of faults. You may have something wrong with you, but I want to tell you that God Spirit can fix it up and send you home another way. Well, my sister and brethren, I don't know no family that don't have some troubles, but I want to tell you that God can fix your troubles if you just put them in his hand. Put them in his hand today and see what God can do. Yeah, he'll make your trouble leave. Your sin may be red as crimson, but I want to tell you, yeah, put them in his hand. Yeah, go to him in prayer. Go to him in faith today and tell him about your trouble. Oh yeah, just put him in his hand and see what God can do. Put him in his hand, go down on your knees. Stay down till you get an answer. Won't God fix it for you? He'll fix it for you. I want to tell somebody today the same way he fixed it for me. He'll fix it for you. He is a God of another chance. I want to tell somebody today, don't be long, don't be troubled. Just tell God what you want. You can call him up today. He's lying and never busy. Yeah, you might not be able to calculate numbers like others. But I tell you, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, just call him up. Call him up today. He's ready to hear you. I want to tell somebody today, the Lord created a nation out of a troubled family. In this same God. Yeah, look down through time. So you and I, yeah, my sister and brethren, he made Jesus, the precarious lamb of God. He sent him around 42 generations. He came in town just to save us 33 long years. Yeah, what about doing good? They took him to a cross. Yeah, and a hill called Calvary. One Friday, just for you and I. Yeah, he hung there, bled and died. He died for another man's sin. Got up for another man's salvation. That we may have a right to the tree of life. And I want to tell you, no matter how troubled your family may be, God is a great creator. Yeah, he can make us all over again. If the word make is in line. Oh, my sisters and brothers, we live in such a troubled world and in a mean time. But God can fix any problem you have. Amen. And if I had the church here, I would tell you that the door is open. But since I have to, I said tell the whole round world. The doors of the church is still open. They're not closed. And that's all you got to do is get on the right line with God and just call him up. And he can change your life and give you a new start all over again. This is our message to you today. May God bless you and thank God for the avenue of great technology that we can reach around the world with his word. Thank this church. Bless all of his members. Bless those that are coming and, and to be members. Bless those that have paved the way also that we could do the great thing we do. God bless you all and I hope this YouTube viewing will bless your heart richly with the word of God. Thank you.